had known she was religious and I wouldn't have come stone. The house took such an angel to mess up to get back home. Hold me close, my dear. Sing your Hey friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today's lesson is for Feathered Indians. This is a Tyler Childress song, and he's uh, an artist I just discovered, sort of the same vein as Sturgill Simpson, and uh, also I think of uh, Jason Isbell a little bit, and Chris Stapleton, some of this you know new group of awesome country stars who really hit it to the core, in my opinion. But I love this song. It's, uh, I think, the one that jumps out from his, his album, Purgatory. Check out the album. It's great stuff. This is the second song on the album. Uh, fun guitar little lick going on in the beginning here. The entire song only uses about three chords. There is one B minor in there at some point, but um, it's cool, you know? Three chords can do a lot if you put them together in a nice way. And this little riff you have also adds a lot of just flavor that's fun to listen to and fun to play. So enough talk, let's get to that lesson and I'll teach you how to play it, okay? I'm gonna focus mainly on that little riff in the beginning, the D, G, and A chord riff. Uh, I'll do a playthrough at the end if you wanna want to catch that too. But um, first up, capo on the fifth fret. That'll let you play along with the Tyler Childers record version of this song. But basically, we're going to have a D chord. We're going to have an A and a G, okay? So those are the chords you'll need, but there's a few little caveats and gotchas here that you want to keep in mind when you play this in order to play it like he does. So the D chord, um, it's going to be a straight up D, nothing really special going on at first, right? For the A, what you're gonna wanna do though, is instead of playing it with your fingertips, you know, like that or like this, however you do it, you're gonna wanna do um, a sort of barred A with just your index finger. So you're doing open, second, 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 okay? You're not doing the high E string, you're not doing the low E string, just, just those middle four strings, okay? And I'm gonna explain why you wanna do this. Basically, it frees up your ring finger to play this little grace note right here. And then the G, the important part about the G is using your middle finger on this low E string, third fret, okay? And I say that because you can play a G like this, right? There's lots of other ways you can record a, sort of fake a G chord, but you really wanna get your, your middle finger there, okay? So those are the foundations. You're gonna be on D for one measure, four counts. A for one measure, four counts, and then G. Oop, I did it wrong. G for two measures, four counts, okay? So you got that foundation, right? Now the D chord. The key here is getting your pinky down on the, uh, that's the uh, fourth fret of the, um, fourth fret relative to the capo, okay? So, and then you're on the, the G string, third string. So basically, regular D. Be able to do that. Be able to put your pinky down and cleanly take it off, okay? And basically what you're gonna wanna do is this. Okay, that's the entire D measure. You're gonna start off by hammering on your index finger and then you're gonna add that sort of pinky note to that note, pinky note to that, you know, that string and then take it off and then, right? So. The measure begins and ends with the open G string with your index finger sort of coming on it or coming off of it at the end of the measure. Okay? I'm doing all down strums except the very end where I do a down up, okay? Okay, so that's the, that's the D. For the A, You can sort of hammer on that index finger if you want. You don't have to. Okay, that's really the key though. You wanna get your ring finger there on the uh, fourth fret relative to the capo on the D string, the fourth string, right? 
and same deal where you want to sort of hammer on the index finger at the beginning of the measure and then pull it off at the end of the measure. So, okay, so, so far we have Okay, so that's the D and the A. Now it's a G, which is the toughest one, I think. So the most important part is getting your middle finger there on that low E string, third fret, right? If you watch Mr. Childers play this song, you're gonna notice he puts his, you know, ring and pinky down up here. Get a nice six string G chord going on. A little bit of a shortcut for you though. Personally, I don't I don't really mess with my index. Um, I'm sorry, my ring and my picky fingers up there. I just play the thinnest four or five strings. I don't, I don't play the, the highest E string. And the reason why is basically you're gonna need your uh, you're gonna need your pinky, okay? And uh, I, I just find that if I go into the measure like this, my pinky is like on standby, ready to jump in, right? You can do this if you want. It's just a little bit more movement you have to do. But the key here is you play those bassiest four or five strings. I put my ring finger, I'm sorry, my index finger on the, uh, where it normally goes, you know, second fret, A string. But then you're gonna play the open D string, fourth string, and hammer on that index finger on the second fret. So basically on that fourth string, open to second fret, second fret to fourth fret. Okay, then fourth to second, and then second to open. If you want to get extra fancy, do some hammer-ons where... Notice how, how I'm hammering on there, and then hammering on again. Now that's totally optional. If the hammer-on gives you problems, finger strength, it's, it's tough. You, might, you, can just, you can just pick it. So that's basically the key, is to do the initial strum and then get those notes. And then strum again, do it again. Now, the way he does it, if you listen, is, is he's basically, he's strumming more than just that fourth string. He's kind of getting, uh, you know, you kind of get to the texture of just a lot of strings going on. So here's how I do it, I'll do it slow. sloppy okay and I think that it's a little bit inevitable there's some like you're gonna have to muffle your way through it but uh, the cool thing is basically what you're gonna want to do is when you take off your index finger from that fifth string and you're moving it up here what you're gonna want to do is drape this little middle finger over the fifth string so it's not really making a sound it's muted okay and then that what it lets you do is what I'm doing here is strumming the thickest three strings. Okay? I just practiced this a lot when I was learning this song. Just this little riff of going from the, you know, on the fourth string I'm doing the lick. But I'm doing it while keeping this, this uh, middle finger here. This adds a fuller sound a little bit because I'm playing three strings the whole time, right? But that melody still rings true, okay? Um, the key though is you don't want to play the third string, the G string, because you're going to get some uh, some crazy dissonance. It doesn't... It sounds a little bit off to me. Uh, Not the worst thing, but um, I just like to keep it on those lower three strings. And uh, the final tip I'll say for this measure is start off doing you know the proper G shape and get back to that G shape as soon as you can after you do the run. That was sloppy. Let's try it. 
try that again. Okay, so it's a little bit sloppy inevitably, but uh, it's good fun. I'll do the whole thing for you a couple more times here. Um, that's what I do for the intro little riff there. I think the way he's ending the riff the second time he does a G is a little bit different, but I'm, you know, I'm sort of keeping it a little bit simple here. Uh, now for the rest of the song, what I like to do strum wise is, uh, I go bass down, up, down, up, 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 bass down. When I say bass, I mean, it's a down strum, but I'm only picking the bass note of that uh, chord, right? So on a D, that would be the fourth string, so. A. Bass down, up down a 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 bass down. So that's my sort of strumming pattern, right? Now, uh, you can just, you know, keep your, uh, Keep the sort of natural bass note, the root bass note for each chord. If you listen to the album version though, you'll hear some alternating bass note stuff going on. Um, so for any chord, what you can do is just play the root and alternate between either the string, you know, the th one string thicker or one string thinner, but basically. It's totally optional. But uh, that's sort of give you that alternating bass, you know, bass note stuff, which is very common in country music. Um, but as for the, the structure of the song, basically the verse is just D for four counts, and then two A for four counts, three, four, and then G for eight counts, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. And then pre chorus is gonna be A for four counts and G for four counts, and you repeat that like four times. So, oh, me close my ear. One more time, AG. Till I sing along. All right, now this is the uh, little chorusy part here. This is the one B minor. This is tricky. You're going to be on B minor and then A for two counts. So one on B minor, one on A, and then G for four counts. Okay, so oh, tell me how your love runs true. And you repeat that. And I can always count on you. Okay, what I'm doing there is I do a Bass note strum, bass note strum, and then a regular G. Again. I'll do it one more time. Okay? And then just A to G. Be the hip as the bullets fly, I'd run through the river just to see you tonight. Alright, that's the whole song, man. That's it. Uh, great, great fun. I hope this lesson helped you. I think uh, at the time I'm making this, there's no other lessons for this song on YouTube, and I definitely cannot play it with the refined polish and precision that you can hear some other folks doing covers for, and of course, the Tyler Childers version himself is pretty good. But, you know, I've had a lot of fun playing this. I wanted to share this because I, I really, really like this song, really like this album. So uh, let me know. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you have any other requests for other songs from this album or... Uh, any other songs at all. Let me know in the comments as well. I like to do stuff that my uh, that my fans want to hear. But um, otherwise, check out my website, playsongnotes.com, if you want to find the tabs and notes for this lesson. And all my other stuff is there too. So, hope you dug this. Remember, just pick up your guitar and play. Good things will happen. Alright, have a good night. Bye-bye.